Greetings and welcome back to another uh, memory tastic episode of the podcast. I'm your host, as always, Jason Oliveira. Uh, today we're going to go through another one of those Facebook memory days, and I'm going to talk about a few things. I found this one to be interesting. There's at least two or three good stories to be told here, um, and. Slowly and progressively, as you guys may or may not know, we will be transitioning over from the vodcast, which which will still be producing. The vodcast will be producing the road to 50, which uh, starts in, well, whenever I decide it to start, to be completely honest. But um, there's going to be less food reviews. I realized over the course of the summer, not only how much money and calories I've invested, but time in eating foods that like Oreos excite me. When I see a new Oreo, I'm excited. Pringles, Doritos a little bit, but I'm starting to branch out and, and, and the channel's becoming something that I never intended it to do. And I keep telling myself and telling everybody, it's not a food review channel, but it, it slowly has become that. So I want to do more of this. I want to do more stories. I want to have more of you guys on to come on and talk about stories that I may or may not remember. My memory is real rough these days and people tell me stories sometimes and I'm like, did that really happen? I thought it happened totally differently. Anyway, let's look at uh, one year ago today I shared this. Uh, so this was episode uh, three, two, two, two or three of the, uh, Cryptid Bits with General Tidbits. We had Corey and Frank on. Corey is my lifelong best friend, and Frank is also a lifelong friend that um, uh, we met in high school back in 89. That's funny that I was in high school in 89, only for part of the year. I was turned 90, you know, in January because that's how time works. But um, w they came on the show. We have another show called uh, uh, High From Space. And if you'd like to check out that, I'll share that channel here. And uh, in a few minutes, you'll see another tag appear that'll appear for this episode that we all appeared on. Or maybe, maybe, maybe I already put the tag up beforehand. I don't know. We come from a place called uh, Taunton, Massachusetts, Brockton, the, the surrounding areas. But within that area is a place, uh, one of the second most haunted place or, or, or uh, super supernaturally uh, charged UFO sightings. There's a lot of places in the world that uh, kind of encompass a lot of things. And the Bridgewater Triangle is the second most haunted place, supposedly. I don't, I don't know statistically how they figure these things out. Maybe it's by reports or whatever, but uh, I'm not going to go too much into detail about this. You can go back and watch. There you go. The episode where we actually talked about it. And a lot of funky things have happened there. And we've spent a lot of time out in the, you know, the Huckamuck Swamp and a lot of different areas that are supposed to where things have happened. I've experienced some things that I found interesting and unexplainable, but nothing that ever sent me into terrors within the Bridgewater Triangle, unless it was in my house. Now, if you want to know more about that, uh, maybe I'll do a whole episode of the hauntings of Winthrop Street or something. Let's move right along here, though. Check out Cryptid Bits. Subscribe to Cryptid Bits with General Tin Bits. Subscribe to High From Space. Subscribe to me if you haven't subscribed to me. I mean, those guys are great and all, but uh, look at this, huh? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. You want more of this? You got to hit the subscribe button. And my wife sent me something. I would love to know what this is, but it no longer exists. Let's let's see if based on the comments, we can figure out what was being talked. The story of my life. Truth is painful. I have to let them go before that. I have to let them go before that. LOL, I put them in the freezer. So I'm going to assume it had something to do with some kind of food that unfortunately didn't last as long as we'd hoped it would have and we had to throw it away. But I, I don't know what it was because the content is unavailable to me right now. Five years ago, my friend Laura, who I used to work with at Gibbons Books and Little Dickens, this is, this is, um, people know me. I don't know why. Well, I mean, I did put poop on all the keyboards. I printed out real small and covered all the enter keys at work with poop. So every time you hit enter, you're actually hitting poop, which I thought was funny. But then I took it to the next level. And before you knew it, I, there was poop labels everywhere at work. And I'm always just talking poop. I, poop is okay. I don't mind the word poop. When we start talking about the act of pooping or the process through which one does, like that grosses my shit out. That's <laughs> no pun intended there. But Everyone Poops is a great book. It, uh, it's, you know, giraffes poop, giraffe poop, big poops. You know, it's, it's a cute little book for teaching kids about poop. <laughs> and another cute kids book is Cute Animals Die. You've got to check that one out. All the kids love that one. Anyway, let's move right along here. Everyone poops. Ah, this is what we're getting to. Seven years ago, seven years ago. So two videos came out for the vodcast seven years ago. One of them was this one, which is the actual, I believe, review of... I'll share that right there. 
I may have even combined them into one video. I, I, I'm very forgetful, as you guys may or may not know. But um, I believe it was a series of two videos. I was trying to find the Swedish Fish Oreo for, like, days, and me and the boys would go out, we'd hit all the stores, I'd film them, we'd be going down the Oreo aisle, looking in all the, the regular places to find them, and uh, we just kept coming up short, coming up short. We finally went to Kroger on Ward's Road in Lynchburg, Virginia, and they were sitting on the shelf. So the, that video I'll share here, if it is a different video. If not, I'm pointing to a cat's face or something who knows uh, one of the best videos that I feel like I've ever done it was so natural and unplanned and things get out of control real quick um, I don't want to spoil it but as you can see from the thumbnail here um, yeah things got wacky <laughs> and let's make the world spin a little bit wackier together see what I'm talking about here I love I don't know sometimes that spontaneous rub Oreo cream on your face just has to happen to make somebody smile that's what it's going to take. Hey, I'm all for it. Holy shit, that came out in 2016. So that's seven years ago. Seven years ago was when I finally found those nasty ass cookies. I really was, I had a whole lot of hope for them because I love Swedish fish. They're one of my favorite candies. And they are after, uh, they're flavored after the um, lingonberry, supposedly. Well, that's what people think they're the closest related to. So I got to get myself some lingonberries and we'll do a side by side test. I probably literally said that in that video seven years ago and here we are and I still haven't done it. So Echo, tell our groceries to add lingonberry to grocery. Added lingonberry to grocery. Yeah, that's right. You did. One final one 10 years ago, uh, Kim and her family were visiting us. Um, I can't remember if this is the same trip that she got her toe hurt and we had to fight a bear or not, but um, every time they come to visit, it's a blast. So, well, there's my life, or at least the most exciting events that occurred on this day over the course of the last 10 years. I, I, 10 years? 10 years. Um, a lot of fun things happen, and when those days happen, I'm going to share them with you guys here on my YouTube channel, and I hope you guys are loving the content I'm creating, and if you guys are loving the content I'm creating as much as I love creating the content that you guys are watching, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. Why? Because it'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and make yourself a better better person tomorrow than you were today tomorrow let's make the world something a little bit happier and wackier together let's sing and dance in the sun and in the rain as one my brothers and sisters live life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you however never live in fear of that moment always live in love and never let your inner child die take care of yourselves take care of one another and take care of those around you who cannot take care of themselves for they are the ones that need it the most and if no one has told you today that they love you the vodcast loves you very much just the way you are all right guys i'm jason Oliveira, and this is the vodcast and i'll catch you guys a little bit further on down the road take care everybody <laughs> What are we on a mission to do today? We are going to destroy the Earth! <laughs> but do you remember what I'm trying to find? The penis oil! The penis oil! The penis fish Oreo! That's right! And the penis oil! The penis fish Oreo! Yeah! The book! P.I. P.I. Cookie Oil! Cookie Oil! Cookie Oil! Cookie Oil! Cookies, cookies, we're gonna have them? Yeah, we're gonna have the cookies. We're gonna have my cookies. The sweet and fresh cookies. We're gonna have the sweet and fresh cookies. No, 